There are moments in the history of science that force humanity to pause, to listen, and to realize we may not understand our place in the universe as well as we think. Join us on the enigmatic journey of why as we delve into another mystery surrounding Voyager 1's final discovery at the edge of the solar system. Just stop the world! In 1977, NASA launched a spacecraft not much larger than a car, equipped with outdated computers, magnetic tapes, and a golden record containing sounds and images of life on Earth. That spacecraft, Voyager 1, was expected to last five years. Instead, it became our most enduring traveler, crossing the boundaries of planets and time. And now, more than 45 years later, it has sent back a signal, but this wasn't just routine data. This final message contains something entirely unexpected, something that has scientists rewriting their models of the universe. What Voyager 1 found at the edge of the solar system isn't just a discovery. It's a message. And it may just be the most important one ever sent by humankind. Voyager 1's journey began with ambition, but even its creators couldn't imagine just how far it would go. As it launched into the void, the spacecraft passed by Jupiter and Saturn, capturing some of the most breathtaking images ever seen. Storm systems larger than Earth, rings made of shattered moons, and volcanic eruptions on distant icy worlds. Voyager's instruments revealed plasma waves, magnetic fields, and atmospheric data that had never been collected before. But, while its primary mission ended decades ago, its most important chapter was only beginning. After completing its flybys, Voyager 1 used Saturn's gravity to slingshot itself upward out of the plane of the solar system and into true, uncharted space. This trajectory meant it would leave the sun's influence faster than anything before it. While newer probes were designed with better hardware, none had the momentum or the opportunity to escape like Voyager. It became the first man-made object to leave the heliosphere, the protective bubble created by the solar wind, and enter interstellar space. But once it crossed that invisible threshold, something unexpected happened. The spacecraft began to detect a region far more turbulent and mysterious than anyone had predicted. What scientists found in Voyager's transmission wasn't just the quiet of deep space. It was evidence of something completely unknown. The outermost region of our solar system, once believed to be calm and empty, turned out to be anything but. Ah. As Voyager 1 passed through the Helioseth, the chaotic zone beyond the termination shock, where solar wind slows down and mingles with the interstellar medium, it recorded a dramatic spike in plasma density. Instruments that had once detected low-frequency hums began picking up persistent waves, almost like a cosmic heartbeat. Scientists at NASA initially couldn't understand what they were seeing. The solar wind had weakened, but the density of charged particles had increased exponentially. Even more confusing, Voyager did not detect a shift in the magnetic field, which theoretical models had long predicted would happen upon entering interstellar space. This meant one of two things. Either our understanding of the boundary between solar influence and interstellar space was deeply flawed, or Voyager had found something that defied current physics entirely. And then came the most puzzling part. Bubbles. Magnetic bubbles. Voyager detected irregular pulsating regions of compressed magnetic fields, almost like ripples pressing against the hull of an invisible sea. These structures suggested the boundary of our solar system is not smooth, but rather frothy, with twisting magnetic filaments coiling in on themselves. Voyager's discovery wasn't just data. It was a revolution. A reminder that we are still learning where our solar system ends and perhaps where the unknown begins.
In 2022, decades after Voyager 1 pierced the interstellar veil, scientists at NASA received a transmission that was unlike anything before. It wasn't a poetic goodbye, nor a celebratory final ping. It was nonsense. The spacecraft began to send data that didn't make sense, long strings of zeros and 377s, orientations that defied possibility and command feedback that made no logical sense. Yet paradoxically, all other systems on Voyager seemed normal. The antenna was still pointed toward Earth. The power systems were holding steady. And the scientific instruments, what few remained, continued to deliver consistent readings. The spacecraft, it seemed, thought everything was fine. This left mission control in a deeply frustrating paradox. Voyager 1 was communicating, but what it said was gibberish. It was like receiving a letter from a loved one in the correct handwriting, on the right stationery, but written in a language no one spoke. After weeks of investigation, the problem was traced back to a faulty switch. Voyager 1 had inexplicably begun using an ancient backup computer to process its commands. One that hadn't been touched in decades. Due to age and radiation damage, this unit was corrupting the signals. Before they ever left the probe, Luckily, engineers were able to command Voyager to switch back to its primary system, restoring clear communication. But this incident sent a wave of anxiety through the community. If Voyager could randomly change systems now, what else could go wrong? Today, Voyager 1 is over 24 billion kilometers from Earth, moving silently through a realm no human eye has ever seen. Its remaining instruments, just a few now, continue to record data about galactic cosmic rays, magnetic fields, and the density of interstellar plasma. It does all of this on less power than a refrigerator light bulb. Yet the little spacecraft keeps going, whispering across the void with a signal that takes 22 hours to reach us. At any moment, it could go silent. Its power source, a radioisotope thermoelectric generator running on plutonium-2138 is slowly decaying. Scientists estimate that by 2025, even the essential systems will begin to shut down. But Voyager's journey won't end there. Long after its voice fades, it will continue to drift. An ancient witness to humanity's first step into the stars. And on board it carries a golden record a time capsule for the cosmos, filled with music, greetings, images, and scientific information. A message not just to aliens, but to the universe itself. Voyager's final discovery at the edge of the solar system wasn't a single reading or anomaly. It was the realization that even our oldest technology, when powered by human curiosity, can change the way we see everything. For decades, Textbooks taught us a simplified version of our solar system's limits, a clean boundary where the sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. But Voyager 1 destroyed that illusion. Its readings have shown that this edge is not a line, but a chaotic transitional zone filled with unexpected plasma densities, magnetic distortions, and unexplained radiation patterns. Thanks to Voyager, scientists now understand that the sun's magnetic field twists far beyond the planets, forming a warped, compressed shape influenced by external galactic forces. The heliopause, the true boundary, breathes, pulses, and shifts over time. Voyager's discovery allowed researchers to create the first real-time 3D maps of this zone, revealing that the space between stars isn't empty, but textured and dynamic. What was once a theoretical boundary is now a known frontier. And it's more alive than we ever imagined. While Voyager 1 continues its long drift into the dark, its legacy has already sparked a new generation of interstellar ambitions. Space agencies and private space firms are now developing concepts for next-gen deep space probes inspired by Voyager's endurance. 
Projects like the Interstellar Probe Initiative at Johns Hopkins APL aim to launch a new spacecraft that can reach 1,000 astronomical units and beyond. With modern instruments capable of capturing full-scale readings of the heliopause and interstellar medium, these missions won't take decades to design like Voyager did. They're born from its data, from its lessons, from its courage. Scientists now talk about Voyager-class exploration the way we once spoke about Apollo. It's no longer unthinkable to send probes to Oort cloud objects, rogue planets, or even stars within a few light years. And all of that is possible because one little spacecraft showed us what's waiting out there. The thought of Voyager's final transmission is bittersweet. Every day that it continues to communicate with Earth is a small miracle. But the engineers and scientists involved know that silence is coming. Its power supply, already rationed, will soon fall below the threshold needed to support any system. And when the signal finally disappears, it will be permanent. No rescue. No reboot. No second chance. What remains will be a spacecraft drifting endlessly, mute and cold, carrying a golden record and the remnants of its sensors. But even in silence, Voyager will have fulfilled something extraordinary. It will become a monument in motion, a relic of humanity's first great leap beyond the solar system. Future generations may never hear it again but they will build on its journey. They will look to the data it left behind and say, this is where it began. This was the first time we touched the stars. Perhaps Voyager 1's greatest gift to the universe isn't its data, but its voice. Sealed inside its frame is the golden record, a copper disc coated in gold, containing the sounds and images of Earth. Greetings in 55 languages, whale songs, heartbeats, laughter, and music from Bach to Chuck Berry. It is the first time humanity tried to introduce itself to the cosmos, not as conquerors, not as scientists, but as beings curious, creative, and hopeful. The Golden Record reminds us that we didn't just send a machine, we sent a message. Not to be answered necessarily, but to be discovered, to be understood. And even if no alien race ever finds it, even if it drifts for eternity, unheard, unheard, the fact that we sent it at all means something profound. It means we believed there was someone or something out there that might listen. And that belief alone, written in metal and launched into the dark, is Voyager's greatest discovery of all. Voyager 1 is more than a machine. It's more than wires, circuits, and antennas drifting through the cosmic night. It is the first echo of humanity to escape the sun's grasp. A silent messenger, carrying not just scientific instruments, but our essence, our questions, our sounds, our dreams. Launched into eternity with no promise of reply. What it discovered at the edge of the solar system wasn't just turbulence or plasma waves or strange magnetic structures. It discovered something deeper, that the universe is still wild, still full of mystery and still waiting for us. It reminded us that even in our most isolated moments, we are connected to the stars, to the silence, to the stories yet to be written beyond our sky. And one day, Long after its voice has faded and Earth itself has changed, that tiny craft will still be out there, moving forward with our music in its heart and our hope etched into its body. Because Voyager didn't just teach us where the solar system ends, it taught us that exploration never does. Thank you for joining us today on Why. Let us know your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Keep waiting for another exciting Why adventure, and until then, stay curious and stay tuned. This is Why, signing off.